everybody what is up I'm gonna try to hold my phone and record this video it's always a crazy crazy uh it's just always crazy with me trying to get my videos done so hi I'm Stephanie welcome back thank you for tuning in to see what I weigh today so I had a great week last week except for two moments one I just ate too much when I went when I ate out and then the second thing was I did great. I was like on track, on point, and I had some family come to town and it was awesome because they all eat super healthy and low carb. So like I did not miss a beat. We were active. Everything was great. And they left and I, I'm still trying to figure out what came over me, but it's like I walked in the house and I ate for like hours and Sometimes it's like I can feel a binge coming on or it's like I've pretty much been able to rule out a lot of things that I know are triggers for me like um yeah like just certain situations certain things usually will lead to a binge but this was so weird because I had such a great time <clears throat> I had stayed on track and the last two nights when I start to get like tired, I notice that that is when I start to like unravel a little bit and like that's usually when I'll go over my points and the only conclusion that I have come to and I'm still kind of trying to sort it out is that I've always known that exhaustion and tiredness for me is like the first thing that starts to make me want to eat and binge and I don't really understand why it is the way it is oh my gosh we have a plumber here and he is like looking at me because I'm talking on my phone but yeah I don't really understand why it happens that way um but I do know that every time I get really tired I I am like at risk for binging so um, my weigh in was, I was down 0.4. So my grand total is 14.2. At least that's what she wrote down. So I'll take it. Um, I have no problems with that. I really hope that this week I can stay on track. Um, I am getting more serious about the low carb thing. Um, for me, if I'm going to make that drastic of like, a lifestyle change I want it to stick and so I kind of give myself like a few weeks to like iron out the kinks because if I don't I'll just quit and I'll just give up so I've been as you know for for a while now I've been really working on getting my carbs down and there's a girl on YouTube that just really inspired me to like pull the trigger get it done. I'm giving it six months. I've actually been documenting it, but I'm not ready to post what I've documented so far. But, um, I'm still tracking my Weight Watchers points because I love Weight Watchers and I've found a way to make both of them work. And plus, I feel like if I ever have a day where, like, for some reason I'm not staying low carb, then at least I'm still tracking the same thing. Like calories is misleading because I could eat 800 calories in chocolate or I could eat 800 calories in vegetables. So although I appreciate a calorie tracker, I don't always feel like a calorie tracker will give the true picture, if you know what I mean. But I feel like with Weight Watchers, no matter what I'm doing, it gives a consistent picture of what I'm doing. So I'm still watching my carbs. Anyway, I forgot to tell you who I watch on YouTube. Tammy over at Keto Chaos. Her channel is Keto in the Chaos, but I believe her channel name is just Keto Chaos. And I'm terrible at linking stuff below, but I will try to see if I can figure out how to do that. Anyway, she's lost over 173 pounds um, doing a higher protein version of Keto, which I really like. Um, my library actually has the book by Dr. Finney and Volok, I think is how you say his name. And I have read a lot of books about low carb eating and obviously watched like hundreds of hours of 
YouTube, listen to podcasts. I mean, I used to be like pretty obsessed and I would listen for like an hour every morning to podcasts on the doctors and the experts about why low carb works. But for me, it's a pretty drastic lifestyle change to like really commit to being low carb 100% of the time, day in, day out, and eating 20 to 30 carbs every single day. Like that's a really big commitment for me. And um, I worry that my diet is going to end up in piles of bacon and sausage, which I don't think is healthy. And um, I've just finally broken through those mental barriers. And so that's what I'm focusing on. Um, less than 30. 20 is hard for me. I don't know. But I also count the carbs in my veggies. And I'm still kind of trying to figure out if I need to do that. But right now I am. And so that's why it's like 20 to 30. And I still have yogurt, which is like seven carbs um, total. So anyway, I'm still figuring it out, but I use her macros and I really like her and I really like um, how she's done keto. And of course, I love like my dearest friend here on YouTube, Sarah over at Pearls of Wisdom and Food. And she used to do Weight Watchers. And some of you who have been following me for a long time, you may actually remember her. Um, but she's like strictly, she's like strict, strict keto. And she eats a ton of vegetables. Um, she does it in a way that I also think is very healthy. Um, I like a little bit more variety in my diet. She is just like, like the keto goddess. <laughs> I don't know how she does it. Like, I see what she eats, and we stay in, like, very regular contact, and I have so much, like, respect, like, mad respect for how she does it, but, um, I like a lot of variety, and I feel like my life is kind of, like, oh, just crazy with, like, kids and mom and all that, and so, I don't know, maybe that's why I just, like, started watching Tammy, and I'm like, dude, she is, like, rocking it. Like, she's got nine kids, I believe she homeschools them. Um, and if she can do keto with nine kids and being a homeschool mom, like, I don't know, it just gave me like the courage to just try it. I've always wanted to try it. I've never had the courage. I've never really had the, like my mind in the right place to think that it's like the best way for me to eat, but that's what I'm doing. So I'm giving it six months. 20 to 30 carbs. I'm still tracking my Weight Watchers points and I'm double tracking my calories. For now, if that changes, I will always let you know. And with that, I'm going to run out of space on my camera. And so far the mailman has walked by and the plumber has walked by. So I'm sure my kids are ready for me to be home. And yes, I have a sunburn. My sunscreen failed me at the pool yesterday. Hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.